Hi, I'm QBJ0. And today at Home Improvement Show, we're going to talk to you guys about cutting holes and ceilings that don't fit. Stick around. Always wear safety glasses, people. Documenting. Power's off, but we didn't really frame this right because, well, they put they they did they put a two by six on top of a two by four so they can join the pieces of drywall together. Meanwhile, this is teetering on here, barely with a couple of, with a couple of nails. So take this all off. Gonna reroute these wires. To this the is where the floor. closet was. Yeah, the closet was here. And reroute these wires to the middle um, pillar here. And put them all on the wall in addition to adding a couple little switches. So, drywall. I have some uh, outlets here for our lighting to go up top for when we, when we film. Lights for the switches behind me. And then this thing here, turn it on and off for our lights. Um, we're moving this cable, coaxial cable here, to put it over here for the TV. Because the TV is actually going to go right here above the air conditioner. And then we're also going to put a light in this corner. So, yeah, that's going pretty good so far. Just worried what's going to be underneath. Or, or, Underneath all this. Of this stuff. We actually had a mouse this morning. I think it dropped down from the ceiling. So hopefully we won't tear this down and get a bunch of mice. <laughs> Love the saws all. So that hole there, guys. Hello. <laughs> Jimmy's up there. Oh, insulation. So what we're doing is a light is gonna go right here, and we're gonna put a switch right here. So he's up there and he's threaded <clears throat> all this wire up through. I was up there a moment ago. Let me just say it's about a thousand degrees. Do you want me to bring it to you? Hey. Huh? Get a knife and put it through the hole. Get a knife and put it through the hole. All right, well, don't pull that. Shit. This house strikes again, I tell you. So I'm trying to get everything wired up. So I'm closing this up, putting drywall behind it. So I'll make sure everything works and circuit, circuitry is all right for when we close up uh, the drywall. Problem is, just like everything else in this house we've experienced, it's not right, not the code. This switch is usually not powered. Well, in this case, it actually is powered. I don't know how or why, but it has the power, neither does the white or black. So I had to do some switching, I had to do some circuitry, check the resistance on both sides with the ohm meter, all that crap. So now we got it fixed. We'll see if it works. If it, if it smokes, I have man on standby to see if it, uh... If it smokes. Yeah. All right, so I'm supposed to go in the bathroom, because this is where the breaker is at. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's on. It's on. Oh, yeah. It's on. Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ready? Okay. Oh! Matter 
Like, for whatever goes for the ground has to go with your green one. Green for ground, fun. But then you have two more and it doesn't matter which one goes on top or bottom. So you just, you know, kind of round off your wire and put it around there and then you tighten up your screw and then you have a light switch that works. Kind of cool, just learned this. Like I say, not the expert, Jimmy taught me. But he's a good teacher. You get to be a, a Jane of all trades. I don't like Jill, Jane of all trades. Gonna see if it works. Let's turn the, the power back on. Here we go. Yay! Look at that. Woo! Drywall going in. That's right. This is the part I don't enjoy having to hang this thing on the ceiling. Drywall is not my forte. Absolutely 100% hate it. I'm not good at it. Uh, and then this makes it even worse when I have like this pressure, it, it's supposed to dry in 20 minutes. So it's like, we're trying to beat the clock and it's just absolutely horrid. So there was a gap here on this wall that we had to fill in. It's uneven. And it it's uneven because they built this stupid to begin with. So now he's doing it up here on the ceiling because there's a big gap up there too. So once we do this, we can sand it, even it out, and then hopefully texture it today. So you look behind you, the drywall, not the best work I've ever done. It doesn't uh, look bad. No, it's just, there's not even, the drywall's not even, even though it's actually the same uh, level of drywall. That's so not us though, that was the, the people who built the house. Yeah, they weren't placed right. It's really weird, I don't know if it's a warp stud or what, but it's actually like a fourth inch, almost fourth inch like gap. But anyway, we're about to the point where we're doing texture. Uh, we're gonna mix it up with water here and then spray the popcorn Looks like flour, seed. but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's a little lumpy because of the popcorn. So popcorn ceiling, that's, you know, 70s, 80s. Hate popcorn ceiling. It's actually made in the 90s, but it's still a popcorn ceiling, so. Ceiling texture, this is a hopper gun. Um, I call it the butt, I won't tell you why. Well, you'll see here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it has texture in it. Looks like cottage cheese almost. Looks like oatmeal right now, but it goes on like cottage cheese. Looks like that. Kind of gross. So I'm going to spray the ceiling. So hopefully it's all going to blend in. Not really sure. Here we go, guys. Here we go. knockdown texture gun. Uh, you can do the ceiling we just did and also now does the walls. And so uh, several types of finishes you can do to help hide imperfections in your drywall. This one it happens to be knocked down. So we spray it on here and after a while, about five, ten minutes, we'll come up with a big long knife and we'll go down and knock it down and make it smooth, kind of like you see what we And it'll look like that. Now begins the knockdown portion of the show. Uh, so I'll use this big thing and that's what we get here. So I usually like do dots. this part, but we don't have another one. Yeah. See how it kind of flattens it out like that? So that's what gives your wall the texture it has. All right, guys, so now this is the finished product of what the wall looks like. It's prime time. It's and prime then we, time. Then we paint. People. We're gonna do the prime, prime the drywall. We should have done it beforehand. So let's do it before you do texture, but I've never really seen anybody do it before if I was after. So I'm gonna texture that. Be drying about an hour once I get this gets dried. I'll take that paint takes about an hour to primer, and then we'll probably do the ceiling. We'll paint the ceiling, and we'll prime the trim. It has to be primed because it's oil based. Not all of that will happen today, but no. just in the course of the next couple of days, that's what we're doing. And then we get a new floor, guys. I'm excited about the floor. common misconception is that you can just start painting. It's just, it's always like you, you think it was guys with a roller just painting away. 
so much prep work. Got to cover up all the holes. I got everything in the ceiling. You got to, you know, spray the ceiling. Those are those are mock where shelves are gonna go. That yeah. doesn't do anything. And then over spray. You know, so you got to cover stuff. You know, with air conditioner and the sofa. Uh, you know. Now this chair. It's too big to put anywhere else. All of our like work crap in the middle, and then countertops. We got back here. So. We covered everything up. I took all the hardware off. Getting rid of that ugly fan. Bye-bye. Get riddance. That was up there. We got a new light. You know, guys, I wish I could say it wasn't like this all the time. It's 100% like this all the time. So we're going to do the ceiling. We're going to paint the ceiling, and then we're going to prime. Because, fun fact, these people who built this house used what, Jimmy? oil base paint. Which is so awful to work with. Oil-based paint, no idea. There's this thing called water-based paint now. It's latex, enamel. It's great, because you wash it out with water. Oil gets all over your hands, it's sticky. Oh, it's awful. There's no reason you guys should ever use oil-based paint. We're priming everything so we can use water-based paint because I don't want to use oil-based paint. So, yeah. Let's paint. We're griping, but this thing actually saved us when we were working on the house. So, what Jimmy does is he gets two buckets like you see here one bucket he uses for water huh it's hot actually this water is even hot yeah it's like 100 degrees outside he uses one for water and, and like right one for water and one for your waste huh? we're using some the ceiling color and the trim paint that we used in the house because it's left over so we thought instead of being wasteful we'll just use what we've got right we have enough yeah i'm worried about having enough I think we'll be okay. It's not a very big room. Hopefully. We're definitely not pros by any means, that's for sure. Uh, we kind of, I've, I've learned from my, my grandpa and, and my dad throughout the years just how to do all this stuff. And, and YouTube videos. And, and a lot of YouTube, I'm YouTube certified. <laughs> the only thing we're spraying today is the ceiling and then we're gonna prime all of the baseboards today as well. And then eventually do all of the counters over there. But we're not gonna spray all of, all of that today. We're just gonna spray the ceiling and then prime and then we'll spray the baseboards mm -hmm. but we're going to roll the walls because it'll go a lot faster i'm going to try to set this up in the bathroom so we don't get over spray all over my phone so we can still somehow get a shot of us actually painting the ceiling so you guys can see what it looks like when it you know kind of goes into it He doesn't inhale all the paint because he's right underneath of it. I tend to hold the cord because the cord is that really thick kind of material that, that twists up really easy. I usually have one too, but it's also covered in oil-based paint right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna brave it. Hey everybody, other day's passed. Hi. Uh, looks pretty good the ceiling actually we got to go back to home depot we didn't show you is ran out of paint about three fourths of the way in and we literally had about what a couple feet yeah and we ran out of paint and so we went to home depot and bought some more because we, we didn't think we'd need all that much but thankfully we bought a whole gallon because we used about a third of it since everything's oil based and like we said we want to put water based we're going to put some kills on here what are oil based kills because you can put oil based primer on and you can use water-based paint over it. Right. You can't use water-based primer and, oil and over water-based or oil-based paint. So this is gonna help convert it to water-based so we can actually get some nice trim, nice bright white trim in here and feed the cabinets. So I'm gonna sweep all the baseboards and then I'm going to shop back all the dust up because it's driving me nutty. And he's gonna scrape the baseboards because we're gonna go through and we're gonna brush prime them. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the cabinets. So I've already removed all the hardware, and then we need to probably take the toilet out of the bathroom and fill up the rest of the linoleum that's underneath it. So that way we can paint absolutely everything, hopefully today. Yeah. 
filming this? Date. We have sprayed all the trim, the doors, and the window seal. We didn't film that simply because, well, we didn't want paint all over everything, but we sprayed the up part of the cabinet. So to give you guys an idea, this white is what they're going to be. That nasty yellow is what they were. So we've taken out, we started working in here in the bathroom. Gross. Is there anything else you'd like to add to our friends here? No, it's just, I think it almost done if we got to go to the bathroom and now it's the bathroom and... Yeah, so the, with this up here will be done, hopefully, we're not, we're spraying this down here too, aren't we? But, and then this, this is gonna be this color white. So that'll look good, I think. But, making progress. We are. He just Boy, lifted a toilet right. all by himself. That's right. Big and strong, as John Wiley would say, big and strong. We've been at this for like eight hours already. And still need to do the walls and still get the bottom of the, of the kitchen cabinets. It's a long day. Um, I forgot to run a respirator, so hopefully I was gonna attack it for that. It's We're like trying to was, kick it in the tush to get it done. Really I'm not well slave driving him. Yeah, it's really well ventilated in here, so. Hopefully, and we have uh, open doors, open windows. Okay, that's going. Man, that's colors wants to show everybody when we're all done the bottom cabinet, so I'm gonna switch out the water right now. So it won't clog up the line and get the, get the, the bucket closed with paint. And we'll paint the bottom here in a minute. Do you want to show everybody my paint? All right, this is a big reveal. We love this color. It's it's our chubby away blue. Ah, we found it. We found it. So it's gonna go on the bottom of the counters there. And in the bathroom. So excited. Debbie's helping us today. <laughs> you ready? Yes. I am in freaking love. Cool, huh? I'm doing a shimmy. That's why the thing's moving. That is cool. Oh my gosh. I look like freaking HGTV right now. Remember they copied me on Property Brothers? It's drying darker. I'll explain. We had a paint problem. Basically, uh, we bought a, a Bayer paint, but we bought the Marquee paint instead of the Ultra paint. And the Ultra paint is what they gave me in the sample. Well, come to find out, fun fact, if you get a different base of paint, like if you buy the marquee paint, so the ultra paint, it actually changes the color. I didn't know this. You guys may tear me apart in the comments for that. I had no idea. So Jimmy started painting and I flipped out. So that's the wrong color. So we had to go fight to get a return. Now we have the right paint. So it's what, 7.45 at night. And we're gonna try to get the walls painted the correct color of paint. I wanted the one that kind of would, it's white, but it finishes a little gray, and that's what I wanted. So, I wanted a little contrast. So I think we're gonna be okay now. There's a little bit of a freak out there for a minute. Jimmy is installing our other light to go up here. We're finished spraying, finally. So he's gonna install that light so we can actually finish painting the walls. We're gonna roll the walls today. What else are we gonna to try to do? Um, trying to touch up all the paint that we had. Yeah, we had a little bit of blue overspray down there. So we're gonna to try to touch that up. We have the amazing Mama Lero helping us today as well. <laughs> she's the professional expert painter extraordinaire. So she's gonna help us. So yeah, and then hopefully we'll get to leveling the floor today. I don't know if we'll get the floor in, but we'll at least get to level the floor. Okay, let's see if it works. Moment of truth. LED, light, light, daylight LEDs, right? They're daylight ones, yeah. So they'll be right, right, right. I don't know about you guys, but I like when I do the outlets with all of the screws vertical. 
like this. Hey, I'll show you guys what I did just now. You know how we love incense, because we love Bali. And uh, you can find a place to put it. It's raining outside, and as you can see, sorry, wet wash there. Couldn't find a place. So, just made my own. <laughs> That's the our place, could call it our own. I wouldn't drill the hole in the brick. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. This, you guys, for reference, this is a five hour incense stick. You can buy those at places. Smells like places. our Bali place. Oh, chimpaka flower. Love it. Helps give you good vibes, positive energy. It just brings us back to a place where we're happier and we love to be. So, you got the smells pumping in while we're painting. Better than that paint smell, guarantee it. All right, so, officially painted. How about that? Uh, no, that's now we transition into bathroom. This is Robin's egg blue. I have a white that dries gray. I can't tell what I've done. Eh, once you dry, you can tell a lot easier. Which is nice. I'm gonna finish the bathroom, and then we'll see what's next. Good morning, y'all. So, Jimmy had to go to work today, so I'm on my own with Mama Lero. She's helping me. Um, but she's helping Jimmy's dad because he just had surgery, so she's on her way out. But bathroom update, guys. The blue's shining through, especially this wall. I can't figure out if that's reflection or if the blue's coming through because what they had before was like a robin's egg, don't be offended, late old lady blue, and I don't like it. So I may have to repaint this wall, but I think we're okay everywhere else. So we're gonna finish the bathroom today. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. Jimmy's not here. Probably won't film a whole lot with just me and Debbie because she doesn't love to be on camera. So we're gonna knock out this bathroom, crank up the girl tunes, and maybe when Jimmy gets off work, we'll love the floor. So you can hear the air conditioner currently going, but it's not been doing that all day long. So basically what happened is I turned it on this morning, it was functioning just fine. I left it on, worked out here most all day long, and it started coming on and going off, coming on and going off. And it's an incredibly old unit. It's probably been here the 24 years that they, this house was built. So, what are we about to get to do, Jimmy? We have to buy a new air conditioner. Yay! Uh, I am so, man. Guys. Uh, you know, like the, all these renovation projects where that's just, you know, we're not going over budget, blah, 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 blah. Well, we're going over budget. We're doing right now over budget, so. There's that. Real life. Woo! So, whatever. I found one at Home Depot for $300. It's only the AC. And it's Toshiba, like, fancy pants, like, touchscreen, good whatever. And it'll cool a room that's actually bigger than this. Yeah, so that's what we're going to have to do. I'm not excited. I'm not excited or happy about it. But we need, it's Texas, y'all. We need, we need an AC.